The smell of burritos, pizzas, lumpias, and empanadas wafted through the crowd. The Jack's Food Truck Food Court was in full swing. I met with owner Anthony Hashem to talk to him about the new culinary option for the lunch crowd. What inspired you to create this? Or was it your creation or someone else's? Yeah, it was. Um, the, this piece of property has been in my family for about 50 years. Um, and a couple months ago, the front part of the, uh, the property is for sale. Um, and I had just kind of seen this idea kind of grow in other food truck friendly cities. Okay. Um, so I spent a lot of time in Austin, Texas, Portland, Oregon. Um, and they have, they're kind of famous and well known for their food truck food courts in that one spot, different trucks every day. Um, and Jacksonville had nothing like that. And obviously I had access to the front building, which made it extra unique. And then we could offer um, temperature controlled indoor seating, um, as well as, you know, food trucks, uh, different food trucks every day. So we're trying to park three to five food trucks daily for lunch, uh, Monday through Friday, open from 11 to 2 p.m. And so basically you can come here every single day of the week and not see the same food truck here twice. Rhonda Ryan, owner of Bold City Pops, is happy to have the food court join the neighborhood. It's been exciting to uh, meet people and I, I have lived in this area for a long time. And so it's nice to have this as an addition in this area. So what makes the food court a destination that people would want to come to other than just finding you know their favorite food truck where they're at? Or Sure, yeah. What kind of makes us unique is that um, we offer the selection, obviously. So if there's a group of people that want to go eat, um, they don't have to rely on one truck's menu. So a group of people can come here, find different varieties. Everyone, you know, six people can come to lunch. Not everybody has to eat at the same truck. Then you can all go sit down together at the same table. So it's just kind of a unique uh, thing. And also, I'm offering the opportunity to do, to have a business lunch in a food truck, which has not been able, you haven't been able to do that in Jacksonville. You know, we offer Wi-Fi inside. So if you have to do a business meeting, you got to sit down and knock out, you know, some homework or some paperwork. You don't have to count out food trucks for that hour lunch break. Now you can include food trucks in your business lunch, come sit down, have a meeting, um, and enjoy food truck food. Carrie Dennis with Jalapeno Truck is excited for the future of Jack's Food Truck Food Court. I love it. I'm surprised, very pleasantly surprised at the great turnout today. Um, the people of Jacksonville are awesome and showing a lot of support for their local businesses. And uh, it's, it's a really good experience and it's just going to get better for for more information about the Jack's Food Truck Food Court, go to WJCTNews.org or click the link in the description below. For WJCT News, I'm Ray Hollister.